the National Hurricane Center has officially upgraded the system to a 70% chance of forming. Huge news right there. So we could be seeing Arthur or first tropical storm forming this weekend. This is what the National Hurricane Center is stating under new tropical weather outlook. But what's really uh, important is we could see a potential landfall of the system. If you go to the GFS model, So if we look at the GFS model, this is where it's at right now. But if we start playing it, we can see that. Let me pause it right here. The system could be forming right on south, next, like south of South Florida, south of the Keys. That's where we could see a landfall. Now, I'm not saying we're going to see one, but it's very, there's a big potential we're going to be seeing a landfall with this storm. But let me, let me show you guys some of their models really quick. So earlier, I was able to see where the storm was headed next, but I don't know why G the GFS model won't work right now. But just telling you guys, it's going to be heading all the way to the east side of Florida and then turning north this way. So this is what the model was showing right before I started the video. I don't know why it won't show anymore, but boom, this is what it's going to be doing. Coming from here, staying on the east coast of Florida and then moving east, north, northeast. So this is what it's going to be doing. Now, what I wanted to look at really quick too is a satellite imagery because at the moment, we really don't see that big of a development. Uh, it's right here. And as you can see, it doesn't, it just looks like a cluster of clouds. Uh, but it, it's going to be forming. I really think we are going to be seeing something with the system. Uh, I think it's going to be a weak tropical storm, probably forming. Well, what's funny is that the, National Hurricane Center shows it forming here, but the GFS shows it forming all the way down here. So that's why I'm kind of, I'm not sure what I want to trust right now. But really quick, I'm also going to have a look at Wendy just to see what they say and what does Jared Tracker say so that I can have a little bit of three perspective. So I kind of feel like they're going with the GFS with this one. Not too sure. Yeah, I think they're going with GFS with a, yep. Yeah, it's forming right on the east coast here. Oh, yeah, actually, it's more going what the National Hurricane Center is saying right here. Uh, but if you look at the GFS after, I'll show you what I mean. Yep. So the ECMWF is not showing doing anything. But if we go to the GFS, it's definitely going to be showing something different. So if we look on the GFS, by Friday, still nothing. But by Saturday, that's what I was talking about. We have the storm forming right on the east coast of Florida with the center of circulation right here. The precipitation, though, is going to be on the east uh, of the storm. So it's going to be one of those storms that only has precipitation on one side. And then that's where it actually forms, right on the east coast of Florida. So that's what I was trying to show on the other um, on the other website. And then so it could potentially do some sort of landfall on the east coast right now. We're still waiting for something like this to happen. Because it does form near Miami, and it kind of moves east. And I'm thinking we could be having some tropical storm winds on the east coast. And then it moves over and kind of goes and does its thing, like all storms do, and become really big all the way in the north. And it's not really a hurricane by them. It's just some kind of storm with a center of circulation. So this is what we have right now. And uh, yeah, so possible landfall in Florida. Yes, possible landfall in Florida around Saturday. So this around between Saturday and Friday, we could be seeing a potential landfall. It's, I mean, it's a possibility really. Um, it's really still gonna have to be seen whether it's gonna be happening or not. If we look at the cloud coverage though, it's much more in the north that we're seeing all the clouds. But Miami's definitely gonna get a lot of cloud and rain, but then it moves to the east very rapidly. So I don't think the rain's gonna be that much of a problem. If we look at the wind, yes, so still we can see the where the storm's gonna be heading. And we can clearly see, and then it moves and kind of falls apart very quickly. But anyways, 
this is going to be your tropical weather update for today. I'll have another one uh, whenever it's going to be needed, probably by tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more.